So today I've got the STS Pi Raspberry Pi Spaceship Kit from Pimarone and I'm going to take you through how to put it together and what's included in this pack. I'm not going to be going into how to control the STS Pi in this video because there's so many different methods including wireless keyboards, controlling it over Wi-Fi, um, but if you have a look on the Pimarone learning portal you'll be able to find an article that will explain just how to do that. So, in the kit, you've got two, two rubber wheels, you've got a acrylic spaceship base, You've got some special micro metal gearbox motors and they've actually got a solderless header on which does mean <clears throat> for this kit you don't actually need to solder anything which is great you've got a camera mount to mount the raspberry pi camera to the front you've got these battery clips so that you can be wireless you've got some various jumper jerker You've got a caster wheel. You've got three standoffs for the caster wheel. You've got two of Pimeroni's lovely purple motor mounts with the Pimeroni Pirate on there. And then you've got a bag of assorted nuts and bolts. What's not included in the kit is a Raspberry Pi an Explorer Hat Pro, which you can use to control the motors, um, an Explorer Hat or an Explorer Hat Fat would also work, a Wi-Fi dongle if you want to control your new STS Pi over Wi-Fi, or any sort of wireless keyboard dongle or wireless keyboard if that's how you want to control your Raspberry Pi. Put the kit together you're just going to need one tool a flathead screwdriver it doesn't have to be this big um, so let's get started so the first thing to do is to peel off the backing on these acrylic pieces so that's one and that's two and then let's explore what we've got in this bolt pack. So you've got some black nuts and bolts and these are for your camera mount. You've got some huge nuts and bolts and these are for your battery clips. And then you've got some various M2 and M2.5 nuts and bolts. So I'm just gonna split those up. So they're the nuts. <laughs> just like that so I've separated all my nuts and bolts so now that we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to pin these two pieces of acrylic together and in this corner here they've actually got a number that you can line up to make sure you've got them the correct way and with them lined up, I'm just going to sit my Raspberry Pi on top of there, like so. And then we're just going to bolt through each of the four Raspberry Pi holes using the M2.5 bolts. So as you can see, I've just gone round and bolted all four of the Raspberry Pi fixing holes. Next we're going to mount the motors and we're going to use our smaller of the M2 bolts. Grab a micro metal gear motor, place it in its correct position, just there. And then put one of the Pimeroni motor mounts just over it, exactly like that. 
On these motor mounts, we've actually got a hexagon cut out for the nut, and that's going to stop it twisting as we screw in the bolt. So that's one, and then I'm going to put the nut in the other side. And then I'm just going to grab my screwdriver and tighten both of those up. There we go. So we've got one bolt, two bolt, one nut, two nut. And we're just going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to place the motor in position, then put the motor mount over the top, snap that into place there. We're going to put one nut in. We're going to put one nut in, like that, and then we're just going to bolt through from the other side. So that is both of our motors installed on our STS Pi. Next we're going to do the caster wheel on the front. And as you can see, we've actually got three spaces for our caster wheel so that our STS Pi will roll flat rather than th with the nose down or up. If you have a look on there, you can actually see we've got the hexagonal cutouts for the nuts to stop them spinning round as we install the bolts. So I'm just going to put a bolt through the caster wheel and then through one, two, three of the spaces. Now this first one is a little bit tricky and it does feel like you need three hands to install it, but this second one should be a lot easier because everything is pinned in place. Just like that, so I've got one bolt, two bolt. The next thing is to just push the wheels onto these motors. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape. Now, I'm not actually going to install a camera with this camera mount, but as you can see, it would just pop in like that and you'd have a front facing camera. So I'm going to put this camera mount and the nuts and bolts that go with it to one side for the moment because we're not going to use them at this moment in time. So what's left is our jumper jerker and our battery clips. So let's put on our Explorer hat. So that's our Explorer hat on. And then we're just going to go from our headers on the motors to our motor to our motor driver pins on the Explorer hat. Just like that. So I've just put these in ever so randomly um, and, I'll act and I'll actually debug it when it's got power. If one wheel's going forward when it should be going backwards, I'm just going to switch these two wires round. And I find that a lot simpler than working out at this moment in time. So next we're going to add this optional extra and that's a battery pack onto the back of our STS Pi. So you just bolt on the battery pack on the back and then you can run a cable round to your power supply for your Raspberry Pi. 